Hey guys, welcome back. Tesla is at $936 on Friday post market. So should you buy or should you be panicking? In this video, I will share with you my real understanding and conviction in Tesla. I will attempt to share with you everything that I know as much as possible so that it helps you with building up your conviction. You can take my information, verify, double check, analyze to make your own decision. So why did I really allocate all my investment funds in Tesla? Tesla is going to be the number one in manufacturing business. Let me attempt to break things down into simple bite size for you guys. Say for example, if you are the boss of a manufacturing business, you have your machines, your employees and your raw material. From a business point of view, what you want to achieve is to have your factory running 24-7, non-stop. You want to churn out as much product and produce as much as possible. The second thing you want to do is to control your operational efficiency. You want to minimize the time taken to produce one finished product to the lowest time possible. You also want to control the cost of producing to the lowest possible. When you are able to control the cost to the lowest possible, you have an advantage because you can lower your price versus your competitors. Manufacturing can be a fixed cost business because the machines and labor costs are fixed. Your only variable cost is the raw material. So the more efficient you are in making use of your fixed cost to produce additional unit of product, your operating profit margin will widen. When you are able to ramp up your production and you have too much supply, you will have another problem and that is where to sell the products you manufactured. So knowing this about manufacturing, we use Tesla Q3 for example. Factory machinery plus labor plus raw material costs they delivered 241,300 cars. Whereas just 90 days later in Q4, factory machinery plus labor plus raw material costs, they are able to deliver 308,600 cars. Now, keep in mind again, factory and labor cost is fixed. They only pay extra raw material costs to produce an additional 67,300 cars. Now that we understand a manufacturing business, we look at how Tesla is extremely operational efficient. From first principle standpoint, they rethink and redesign how a whole car should be done. You know how our current cars, we have all the radios, the buttons, and a lot of unnecessary stuff. All these parts come from external supplier, and legacy automaker like Toyota and Volkswagen. They just order all these parts and assemble them together. Tesla took away the entire thing and just put a touch screen inside the car to control everything. So instead of so much manual button and radios to be fixed inside the car, they only have one touch screen. Now, their car body structure, the real body of the car, instead of combining 79 parts together, pieces by pieces, it is made into one single piece. Do you know how much time this saves? Nobody can copy this because it is material science done by SpaceX engineers. Now I don't know if you noticed, but manufacturing an engine car and manufacturing an electric vehicle is a completely different thing. It is like comparing an oven to refrigerator. The whole supply chain is different. The way to manufacture things is different. So for this example, we will just use our eyes and common sense to see. From this picture, do you guys think the engine or the battery pack is easier to assemble and manufacture in volume for cars? Now, gross profit of a Tesla is 3 times more than that of GM and Ford. GM and Ford has all the bureaucracy, union, inefficient in deploying capital. Their expenses is still higher than Tesla despite being much less profitable than Tesla. Volkswagen is Europe's largest car maker and they are already doing their best to transition to EV. But they take 30 hours to produce their EV and Tesla takes only 10 hours to produce an EV. Let's just use logic and reasoning and we know that in the same amount of time, Tesla produces 3 times more vehicle and each vehicle is 3 times more profitable than their legacy competitor. To have a quick estimate, in the same amount of time, Tesla is 9 times more profitable than legacy automaker. From supply chain management, innovation, operational efficiency, talented and hardworking employee, factory space efficiency, I took a deep dive looking at each area and everything is done much more superior than industry standards. Now, remember when I say a big problem manufacturers have to solve? is where do they sell their products when they achieve volume production. Tesla is no marketing expense for a trillion dollar company, yet the amount of orders exceeds what they can supply. So instead of competing on prices, they can charge a premium because of the quality of their products. They charge on value instead of competing on price. This makes their car even more profitable. Now I'm just talking about all this without telling you that their next generation battery, 4680, is going to lower their battery cost by 69% per kilowatt hour. So as a manufacturing business, you'll be damn happy to ramp up your production 24-7. Now with so much demand and orders, customers have to wait more than half a year to get their product. Even if all these orders are filled, and you have the production capacity to produce more cars than you can sell, the extra cars can be used for RoboTaxi. RoboTaxi is what will bring Tesla the most amount of revenue and profit, but I will cover this later. What I'm trying to say now is, there is vertical integration of this manufacturing business. The same and similar raw material costs can be made into different products with very different revenue model. The bottleneck of producing electric vehicle is actually the batteries. If the day comes when Tesla meets the supply of EV demand, robo-taxi demand, 
The batteries can also be used for energy storage. So the goal for Tesla is to just manufacture as much as possible and ramp up in the shortest time possible, improve operational efficiency and reduce time costs. I'm only half done with Tesla manufacturing, I can go on and on about supply chain management, how they are the most efficient in per meter cube usage in their factory space, how they can vertically integrate their manufacturing expertise into Tesla board. But for now we will move on and we will talk about Tesla's lead on transport as a service. So what do I mean by transport as a service? We are now in 2022, we still go to car dealers to get our cars. We then go to a different company to get our car insurance. We go to another different car mechanic company every half a year for servicing. Heck, we still have truck bowser moving around to transport petrol and diesel to petrol stations. We still have taxis that we have to pay the driver, the petrol usage, expensive inefficient vehicle and their maintenance costs. All this cost is transferred to the consumers. We are paying for so much higher to be transported around. All these are high logistic costs, storage costs, retail costs, administrative costs, high transport costs. Tesla has vertical integration and will start taking market share from all these industries. Tesla will revolutionize transport as a service. They will offer their own cheaper insurance because their cars are the safest. Tesla will monopolize and build their own supercharger stations and this will eradicate all the petrol stations. Tesla building up their own service centers and Tesla will have their own robo-taxi fleet. So each of all these industries I just mentioned, they are worth billions in revenue in their own. All this vertical integration from Tesla will capture more market share and eventually bankrupt all these industries. When cost of ownership of a vehicle is cheaper because of better manufacturing costs, cheaper to maintain and drive, cheaper insurance. All these lower costs will push more demand for vehicle ownership and more people will demand for ride sharing. Now let's talk about autonomous electric vehicle. Before I talk about the economics of an AEV, let me share my opinion if I think autonomous driving will be solved. In short answer, yes, because I've seen it over and over that AI can do things better than human. I've seen it in AlphaGo, winning the best Go players in the world. I've seen OpenAI defeating ATI champions. All these technologies seem stupid at the start, but when they train and learn, they don't learn in our time. Their learning speed can be accelerated and multiple simulations can be run at the same time. And when they are ready, they perform better than the best human being. Machine learning speed is exponential. Each FSD beta version gets increasingly better. I think nobody is close to solving full self-driving except Tesla. There is just no competition. Lower if I'm gonna guess, right? Yeah, so this is the crazy part. It's like I've been driving a FSD beta for about six months and I think Tesla has, has it's over. I mean, I, I say it's over <laughs> in a symbolic manner. It's, Obviously, it's, it's, it's not my over. catchphrase. I'm yeah. Tom, it's over, Nash. Yeah, and like for example, when the iPhone came out, it was like, it's over, it's like done. In a, in a, in a premature, obviously, it's like Tesla right now with FSD beta and what they're doing, like symbolically, prematurely, I'm saying it's over. Like Tesla has, has won. They've won physical AI already. And as long as, of course, the assumptions are they continue so you think to innovate general and execute. AGI embedded? So yeah, what I'm saying is this, is, is it's, it's, the, 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 the realm of AI is progressing so fast. So every like nine months or so, right, these, the, the neural net training computers are doubling in speed. But that's the key, is the, the, the amount of training power that you could put into these neural nets, because you can make them bigger and bigger, they get more effective. So this is the limiting factor mostly, but this is doubling every 12 months, so if you com or nine months. If you compound this over 10 years, it's, it's mind blowing. But basically the idea is, I think actually Tesla, they've practically, it's, it's over. They've solved like, autonomous driving is that it's going to take time to roll out and to get ready to to for people to see it and for it to become a reality the, the, but their lead is so big and their lead is only growing because the data other people can't get the data the the massive okay, here's the thing that people don't understand with autonomous driving you reach a certain point but in order to get so much better 10x better you need these crazy edge cases that are so hard to get and you need a ton of them but the only way you can get them is you need millions of cars on the road or you have zero mileage. chance of getting mileage. You have, you need mileage. Yeah, mileage. You have zero chance of getting the amount of the hard data and the really those all that hard data. So what's happening is Tesla's lead is just growing actually. People aren't underst are aren't realizing yet. But um yeah, I think they they pretty much nailed it. It's just going to be so agreed, obvious. I totally agree with you uh, on robo taxi. When FSD level 4 is ready, we will have five figure software sold to the mass consumer. And when level 5 is ready, we will have robotaxis. Now, with manufacturing alone, we can already produce revenue and profits higher than that of Apple in the future. All these that I just mentioned are really just extras. For example, 4680, full self-driving, robotaxi, energy and Tesla bot. For each major milestones they can complete, this will add trillions in the market cap. 
and Tesla is now only 1 trillion at the moment. Now, let's use some logic and reasoning to study the economics of an AEV. We look at history and understand things. The cost of transportation of goods and labor is the backbone of the economy. In the earlier days, merchants have to hire bodyguards, have horse carriage. Things take months to transport from one end of the Silk Road to another. The cost of business is expensive. It is expensive to move labor, it is expensive to move goods. When the cost of business is expensive, lesser things will be produced, lesser movement of goods and labor, lesser jobs will be created. Slowly in the 1800s to 1900s, we built railroads to connect transportation of labor and goods in a much more efficient and practical way. We bring down the cost of labor, cost of goods. More businesses can be done. In the modern era, we have ships, cargo planes, and semi-trucks. We also have trains to transport our goods and services. Now, imagine a robotaxi can bring down the cost from 62 cents per mile to 18 cents per mile. Demand for private transportation will go higher. The cost of transporting labor goes down 3.5 times lower. Cost of moving goods with autonomous semi-truck becomes lower. Cost of business will go even lower. So what if you have autonomous electric bus for public transportation and they pay licensing fee to Tesla? And what if in the future we have Tesla bought in a semi-truck to handle all the delivery? So this will cause a deflationary pressure on cost of business, cost of commute will go lower and society will function even more efficiently. When we look at the possibilities of Tesla, it is endless. They build and design their own chip, they build their own neural nets, they build their own dojo supercomputer to train, creating the most efficient battery that can be used for cars, energy and bots. The hardworking culture, innovative culture, the best and brightest engineers all wants to work for Tesla and SpaceX. Now imagine a Tesla car with brand mode to charge premium, lower cost with 4680 battery, giga casting, equipped with full self-driving, vertically integrated transportation as a service, from insurance to charging station to service centers. How much profit margin are we talking about per vehicle revenue? This will all probably be done by 2025. Most importantly, when Tesla achieved AEV, the economics have tilted towards a car being a liability to an asset. An individual have the ability to make extra income by sharing their vehicle. If they can make 30,000 US dollar net profit over a year, it will be 300,000 profit in 10 years. Do you still think Tesla will charge 50,000 per car and 12,000 for software? The car have become a valuable asset when Elon Musk have decided to take on this industry. Even if I'm half right and Tesla only achieve half of what they set out to do, my half right investment thesis will push this stock to $7 trillion by 2030. And if I'm right, I don't know where is the limit. Now that Tesla is valued less than a trillion, it's $936 cheap. If you still do not know the answer, I cannot help you. Okay, I can still go on and on, but I think this is enough for you to think about Tesla as a company. The stock market panics from time to time. Sometimes Tesla is overvalued, filled with hype at $1,200. And sometimes the market panics too much and price Tesla at $936. The truth is always somewhere in between. I hope you like this video. If you think my analysis is spot on, share it with your friends and family. I'm trying to reach as much subs as I can. Help me out by first breaking a thousand subs. I appreciate all your support. Thank you and I'll see you next week.